5.2 number 22. Here we have a whole bunch of factors being multiplied together and they have exponents plus they are, there's a parentheses raising to another exponent also. Now the exponent outside the parentheses acts on the parentheses so everything inside the parentheses gets the exponent of 4 because these are all being multiplied together. So what we can think of now is this 4 x on the minus, so minus times minus times minus times minus. Four minuses. Every two cancel out and give a plus. That gives us a positive. Then we have r to the fourth raised again to the fourth power. A power to a power, you multiply the exponents. So we get r to the four times four. s to the fourth raised to the fourth. Power to power means multiply. So s to the 4 times 4, times the result of the other parentheses. Again, there's a parentheses here with an exponent, and because everything inside is being multiplied together, it's OK for everybody to get the exponent separately. A minus sign squared is minus times minus. They plus out. It gives us a plus. r to the fifth raised to the second power. Power to power means multiply r to the 5 times 2. s cubed raised to the second power, power to power again, s to the 3 times 2. So now we have r to the 16th, s to the 16th, times r to the 10th, s to the 6th. So that was using the power rule. Now we want to use a different rule. We have same bases being multiplied together. We have an r to the 16th times an r to the 10th. Same bases being multiplied, add the exponents. So that's going to be the product rule. That gives us r to the 16 plus 10 times. Again, same bases, s and s, being multiplied together. We use the product rule. Add the exponents, s to the 16 plus 6. That gives us r to the 26, s to the 22, and that's our final answer.